Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Pace Studios. We are now live with Travis Meadows. Travis, thanks for being here. Man, my pleasure. Good to be here. Yeah. So we, uh, you're gonna play four songs for us today, yeah. and three of them are off of uh, off the of first cigarette, the mm -hmm. current album that's out right now on Blaster Records. Yep. Um, and we're gonna hear another one. Also, we're gonna hear Riser as well. Um, and can you tell us a bit about the first song you're gonna play? Yeah, I was. Uh, uh, down in Opelousas, Louisiana, I, I had some unfortunate habits when I was younger and got really good at things concerning addiction. And um, apparently now I'm an expert because they'll fly me around every once in a while and, and I go speak and sing to people going through that. And I was in Opelousas, Louisiana, and, and uh, I asked, you know, I told the kids, I said, um, you know, you've been hearing my stories and my songs. Uh, if we were to be a little creative and turn it around and we were going to write your song, what would that sound like? And this young lady shared a story that was... I was unprepared for, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, and I, I remember thinking, um, I'd want to get high too, right? But I said, how'd that make you feel? And one tear came rolling down her cheek, and she wiped it away, and she said, I don't feel nothing. Well, I'm out of words. I have no idea what to say to that. And one of the counselors stepped in and said, you know, if the only thing you have to work with is a hammer, you're going to treat everything like a nail. It's okay to give yourself permission to, to have more than one emotion because the problem with that is when you push it down, it comes out sideways. And when he said that, man, my, my, the songwriter in me started thinking about it and thought about my own experiences and how much I had pushed things down. And I went to Clarksdale, Mississippi and uh, looking to, to make a record, and this song came out. Um, and it's the first song off the record, and that's when I knew I had a record, when this song came out. If I could buy myself a conscience that wasn't broken Mend every fence I drove my heart head through We lock on the doors I wish I never opened Unlearn the things I wish I never knew And it came out through the bottle Came out through my fears Came out way too early, I wish you never did. Push it down, it comes out sideways. Push it down, it comes out sideways. Bitter roads turn into highways. Push it down, it comes out sideways, sideways. I have days where it's just nose above the water. Keep it together while I fall apart. I have moments when I act just like my father. The only man who ever broke my heart And it comes out in my silence Sometimes I want it tears Comes out disguised as anger But it's really fear Push it down It comes out sideways Push it down, it comes out sideways. Bitter roads turn into highways. Push it down, it comes out sideways, sideways, sideways. Push it down, it comes back up. 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 
push it down comes out sideways push it down it comes out sideways bitter roads turn into highways push it down comes out sideways 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 like that. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. That's great. That's a great song. That's, thank you. uh, um, and I mean, whether, whether you're hearing it through the filter, through that lens of, in the context of addiction stuff or, or sure. through the, con- and through any context, I mean, that's a, a really elegant way to, to put that. And it's, yeah, thank you. I kind of feel like, you know, um, when I was growing up, you didn't really talk about the way you're feeling. You know what I mean? You uh, you just kind of mm-hmm. tough up and, and and find your way through it. Um, but I think it's uh, I think it's a good thing to find somebody you trust and kind of talk about stuff. Um, you know, uh, it's definitely it certainly helped me a lot and kept me out of <laughs> kept me out of jail and rehab for the past eight years. So, yeah. Well, that was great. I mean, I can certain personally relate to, to right that on. topic Thank uh, you. and I'm sure statistically 10% of the people that are watching this right now can relate very much to yeah. uh, awesome to that particular struggle and uh, man thanks for sharing it with us yeah man my pleasure. Um, so that was that's a song off of First Cigarette which is out right now on Blaster and mm-hmm. you're going to do three songs off First Cigarette and can you tell us about what you're doing next yeah well uh, you know that other song was so heavy I thought I'd lighten the mood for a minute um it's so funny, you know, this this portion of my career um, kind of started accidentally. I'd, I'd kind of given up on being an artist, and I moved to Nashville to write songs for other people. And uh, and then I uh, started writing these really depressing songs documenting me getting sober. And then the next thing I know, people, are, you know, famous people are recording the songs. Uh, and then I start getting invited to play, and, you know, all of a sudden I'm an artist again. And uh, that's been, you know, the past five or six years, and, and I, I really kind of put myself in the listener's chair um, after uh, the last two records and went, you know, if I was listening to this depressing stuff, I'd really, I mean, it'd be a hard 90 minutes to sit through that many songs. So I made a point to, uh, to put some levity because I'm not that guy anymore, you know what I mean? I'm in a, I'm in a completely different place than I was then, and, um, and I'm happy. And so I wrote this, I wrote this little happy ditty, man, and... Um, it almost didn't make the record because I was kind of scared of it that my my fans would be like, what, you know, who is this, you know, imp- impersonator? Um, but my producer uh, loved it and thought it was a great idea, and it's wound up uh, this particular song is wound up being my, one of my favorite songs on the track, and it is indeed happy. But anyway, it's called Guy Like Me. I ain't rich, but I got money in my pocket Got a little corn in the fridge A little fire in my slow rolling rock A few friends that didn't burn with a bridge I'm doing all right Yeah, I'm doing all right Far as I can I'm doing all right Yeah, I'm doing all right For a guy Like me Got a beautiful girl She laughs at all my jokes Hell, I even get along Starting to get a name from some of those folks that used to give me no respect. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Far as I can see, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right for a guy. 
Thank you, Travis. That sounds great. It's good, uh, good to know that you're able to to be uh, stoked with your life and still and create create good things. That you didn't necessarily have to Man, be if you bummed been, out and, and depressed in order for art to come out. If you would have asked me, you know, eight years ago about my, you know, where you think you'll be, <laughs> I would have said dead. Um, and you know, the fact that I am, uh, you know, happy and uh, you know, humans are real resilient animals, man. We get knocked down and, and we get back up and we're, um, uh, it's really an amazing thing. Um, and I just feel really lucky, you know, feel really lucky. I was uh, brave enough to, uh, or desperate enough to ask for help and, uh, and I got it, you know. Good. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you made it made it through, and and uh, evidently no worse for the wear. I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't know specifically what what it was that you went through. I'm sure it was something, though. You look like oh, the sort yeah. of dude that uh, that did it well. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but uh, I mean, these these songs are outstanding. I really appreciate you coming and taking the time to share them with us. Yeah, I wouldn't have missed it for the world, man. Thanks for thanks for letting me be a part of it. It's yeah. cool. It's a, it's a great setup in here. Yeah. Thank you. And so everybody who's uh, watching right now, check out uh, the website. It's travismeadows.com. You're playing here in New York City tomorrow night at the Bluebird Cafe Songwriter Series at the Opry City stage, mm -hmm. which is right here in Midtown. It's walking distance from the studio here. Yeah. Um, and also wanted to mention that you've got a show at Stone Pony with, uh, in Asbury Park with, uh, with Anderson East on November 2nd. Which is going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, and I mean, we're not going to just mention every single tour date, but you can see them all at travismeadows.com. Yeah, that's the best thing. That's one stop shopping, man. You go to travismeadows.com and articles and videos and links to everything. That's the best place to nice. go find out everything and, and, and more than you probably need to know. Um, and so you're doing three off off first cigarette. Are mm -hmm. we hearing another one from first cigarette right now? Or are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna do a, a, a one I wrote with Cactus Mosier, uh, who's married to um, Winona Judd. Uh, it was such a it was such a, a random thing, but uh, me and Cactus got together and we were scheduled to write, and he was uh, producing a record on. Um, Wine owner, and uh, so we got together and we're writing, and we just started kind of talking about, uh, you know, those people that are that are overlooked um, or expected to fail. And um, you know, he had a uh, a motorcycle accident uh, and lost his leg, and so he and he's still a drummer, you know what I mean? And so he's playing the drums, and uh, and so we, you know, we kind of connected on that level. He didn't know it at the time, but I I actually had cancer when I was 14 and lost my leg, and I, and I didn't tell him about it. And so, uh, so it turned into a big joke because he's he's describing all these things, you know, like, um, yeah, it feels like, you know, like my leg's really asleep or whatever. I'm, I'm like, I know. And it's, man, but sometimes I get these pains with me. I'm like, I know. And about the third time, he's like, how the crap do you know? And I'm like, and so I, anyway, we hit it off. We wound up being really good friends. And uh, and then he took all of my songs over to uh, Winona, and they started listening. Mm -hmm. To my songs, and she wound up uh, recording two of my songs. Which, dude, I mean, why on a Judd singing your? I mean, that's a big deal. One of the greatest voices ever, 
uh, singing my songs. It was a real treat, man. So anyway, this is uh, another happy, uplifting song called Underdogs. <laughs> sing along I always think about when I was eight years old and somebody you know you, you feel like you're getting away with something and you kind of no 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 that's what I think about every time I do that last little bit that's great man it's another great song thank you so much yeah, it's man, just so you. instantly relatable to I mean to me in this room and to, to the internet also I mean just judging from the comments of the people that are watching right now there's a lot of people that are relating to uh, I mean, just a, you're a relatable and connectable kind of a dude. So oh, really, thanks awesome, so much for, for coming and sharing this Thank with all you. of us. Yeah, it's uh, you know, every day is a gift, man. And I'm just uh, I'm just happy to have somewhere to go. So we've got one more to do today. We've got a bonus song, and uh, this one is this one's not on first cigarette. This it's is... not on first cigarette. Uh, <clears throat> I actually wrote this song uh, kind of when I was coming out of a real dark period, and 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 uh, you know coming uh, into the proverbial light, if you will. And, uh, and I, uh, you know, sometimes I don't know how I even feel about something until I write about it. You know, it helps me process things. And, uh, and I had kind of taken about a, you know, a joke about it at my shows and, you know, say I, I had a real bad day that lasted for six years. And um, so uh, I was kind of coming out of that and I, I started feeling hopeful and optimistic and it had been so long, it kind of shocked me. I wasn't sure, you know, what is this strange feeling I'm feeling, you know? And so I wanted to, to just kind of uh, write a song that, that in, a, in a roundabout way, I don't know if I was trying to, you know, 
in, uh, to convince myself or convince people around me, but but I'm back and we're, you know willing and ready to be a, a participant in life and not just a you know a spectator. And so I wrote this song uh, with a good friend of mine, uh, um, uh, Steve Mokler. Uh, he's really optimistic. He's a great uh, artist, but he's you know he's really an optimistic guy. And I, I, I told him the idea for the song. And he said, "Man, I, I don't feel like I'm qualified to write this song. I haven't been through enough struggles, you know." And I said, "Yeah, but I can be a dark." A dark guy, and I feel like your optimism would be just, you know, the lift that this song needs. And so, um, um, so he agreed, and we wrote it. And uh, Dirk Bentley, a big country artist, uh, doing quite well. I was just at a, a like a stadium gig, and I don't know, maybe thirty or forty thousand people hearing him sing this song was really a surreal experience. But his father had just died, and he really related to the song, and so he released it, and it was a single. And uh, man, I it, it's become such a part of my shows I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to put it on the next record because i end you know almost every show with this song and and just to talk about the resiliency of uh you know humans and um actually my my wife uh, just had breast cancer and um and we had to walk through a really challenging road and i remember the first time that i sang this song after walking through that with her it was like a completely different song i wrote it for one thing and then it wound up being something completely different which just kind of speaks to the um to the power of music and how it, you know, how it can touch you and guide you and, and comfort you and heal you. So um, I'm, I'm really proud of this song. I feel like it's bitter, uh, bigger than, than any of us, you know. So anyway, it's called Riser, which there's a, there's a baby in uh, North Carolina named after this, by the way. And there's tattoos all over the place uh, with these lyrics. So, uh, man, what a gift. Get up off the ground, don't run and hide. Pushing, come to shoving, honey, I'm a fighter. Darkness comes to town, I'm a lighter. But get out alive of the fire. I'ma get down low so I can lift you higher An army couldn't keep down my desire Oh, I'ma rise I'ma get 
up off the ground Don't run and hide her Pushing come to shoving, honey I'm a fighter Darkness comes to town I'm a lighter Get out alive Of the fire I'm a riser I'm a survivor I'm a riser Yeah, I'm a riser Honey, I'm a Thank you, buddy. That sounded great, man. I can see how the context of that would have shifted with the given given the the circumstance that you just that you went through. Yeah, it was uh, it was really remarkable. Well, thanks again for coming and sharing these four songs and yeah, for man. sharing the stories behind them too. I mean, it's it's as as beautiful as those songs are. The stories behind them are just as compelling and just as interesting you, as, as yeah, hearing I, them. Yeah, I so. appreciate you opening up your doors and letting me come in. It's really been a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's standing invite next time you're around I'll please come back and visit it. us again we'd Sounds love to good. love to host you again here so everybody who's watching right now of course all the details are up at travismeadows.com tomorrow night if you're in new york city the bluebird cafe songwriter series is at opry city stage here in midtown manhattan yeah. i do need to say levi lowry and uh, aaron enderlin will be there as well uh, it's a kind of a songwriter of the round kind of a nashville experience um in the and uh, in you know they do a lot of the in the rounds both of those are really incredible writers and, and artists as well so it's going to be a fun night for sure that sounds great i'm around tomorrow and that's it's walking distance from here so i think i may see you tomorrow night as well come on i'll put you on the list all right thank sounds you sounds good and uh stone pony november 2nd with anderson east gonna be a ton of fun also all the dates are up at travis yep. and man thanks again this is great Yeah, my pleasure thank you